So in little to almost no time, in just a couple minutes, I was able to, from one created palette, create a variation with hue and saturation and create a further variation with color balance. Colors. Today we're gonna talk about colors, but in a different way, because I've created a system of numbers to create colors. But first and foremost, let me ask you this question. How many hours have you lost on average just looking for colors online or color palettes for your next best illustration? How many hours have you lost on Pinterest or Color Hunt or just insert here your favorite color library website? Honestly, I've lost countless hours on these websites just looking for that perfect color palette. So today I decided to create a system that I believe is quite easy for us to create harmonious and sequential color palettes. This video is gonna be a little bit different than what Procreate usually asks us to start creating color palettes as using you know, the complementary option or you know, all the other options that they provide. This one's gonna use a system of numbers, of ratios, that we'll, we're gonna be dialing in back and forth in order to create lighter shades and darker shades of colors and also change the hues to create a really harmonious and sequential color palette. So I'm really excited to share this technique with you all and I'm also going to be providing all of the files, everything that you need, free, uh, just in the link in the description of this video. You just got to click and get the files if you hit any snags or any problems. And all that you're really going to need is your iPad and your Apple Pencil. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, now that we're here in Procreate, let me show you what I have. First and foremost, I have a simple screen size file here for my iPad and let me just zoom this back and I have about two layers in this file. I have my little ratios, the numbers that I was just talking about at the beginning of the video. We're going to go through these numbers and what they mean, but I just want to say that I have a simple, just clean layer. We're going to be creating our colors in that layer. And finally, I have a background color. The reason why it's gray like this is that for choosing colors and finding colors, I really like to create my color palettes over a gray background instead of going with a full white background because it makes things very, very bright and not necessarily really good when you're looking at colors. So we're just going to stay more or less around the middle section here of the grays and let's get started. I've created this system with three rows. The first one, H, is for hue and that is for deciding on the color value. We're also going to be starting from the middle and then going outwards. So we're going to find our middle color and then we're going to work into the brighter tones as well as into the darker tones. The reason why there is no value here in the middle for hue for color is because the color needs to be something we're going to find together or it's going to be your decision. Do you want to start with a blue color, green color? Do you want to find, you know, an orange color, whatever it is that you want as a starting point. And don't worry, there are so many ways to tweak those colors down the road and I'll show you in this video. So first row is for hue, for color. Second one is for the saturation. We're gonna be taking off, as you can see where we have negative numbers here on the left. We're gonna be taking out saturation as the colors go brighter and we're gonna be adding saturation as the colors go darker and darker. Finally, we have B for brightness, which it's also going to talk about uh, brighter and darker values. We're going to be adding a few points for the brighter colors. That makes sense. And we're going to be taking off brightness when we go into the darker colors. Now, one thing that I just want to point out is that this little system here is matching the value section of our color menu in Procreate. As you see here, those first three sliders is where we're going to be focusing for this video. We're going to be looking at the hue, saturation and brightness sliders. So let's get started. For the purposes of this video and for choosing my color, I'm going to start with something purple. So I'm going to choose here. I'm just going to put 240. You don't need to be like writing these values. You can also just go find them by just going on the slider right here. But I want to use a uh, round number just to make things simple when we're going to be adding and subtracting these values. Now on the middle row, it tells us to get the saturation about to uh, 70%. So I'm just going to do that. And for brightness, 85. Now, of course, this is telling us that this color palette 
it's going to be a little bit more on the saturated side as well as on the brighter side. And that's okay because this is just the first great exercise. We can then talk about creating other ratios and other formulas down in this video as well. But for now, let's just stick to these numbers. So I got 240, 70, 85. And for my brush, I'm just going to be using a standard uh, monoline brush and making sure that I'm on the right layer, which is that second layer. I'm just going to zoom out a bit and we're going to draw our first swatch right here. Again, as I mentioned, this is going to be more of a gradation, more of a cohesive uh, kind of color palette. So let's keep going. Now I'm going to go first into the brighter values. So I'm going to add 30 points to hue. So it's going to go to 270. I'm going to take 10 on saturation. So it goes to 60 and I'm going to add five to uh, brightness. It goes to 90. And now I can just draw my second swatch. So let's keep going. I'm going to add 30 more to 270. It goes to 300. I'm going to take 20 from saturation. It goes to 40. And I'm, now I'm going to add 3 to brightness, which goes to 93. So let's paint that. And we got our first three colors right here. So let's keep going. I'm now going to add 30 again. So it goes to 330 on hue. Take another 20, goes to 20 on saturation. And plus 3 to brightness goes to 96. And let's paint that as a swatch. And we got one more to go. So I'm just going to go back here. 330 goes right to 360, less color in the hue. Now back to taking only 10 from saturation. We stay on 10 and we go to 99 on brightness. So painting that last swatch right here. And there you have it. The first four tones looks very, very, you know, beautiful and sequential how we're getting to the brighter values. Now let's go into the darker values. Now I could go again and type the 240, 70, and 85, but it's actually way easier if I just use the eyedropper tool, capture my middle value, and be able to work now on the darker shades. So let's do that. Now we're going to be subtracting things. And as you can see, I'm only subtracting way less numbers on the hue than I was adding before. And that's because I want to create a more cohesive color palette which won't have too many swings of color going to the darker values. So it's going to concentrate the changes of color. What that really means is that we're going to concentrate the color changes more into the brighter values. And you see the end result's going to look really, really nice. So with 240 taking five, we go to 235. We're going to add five on saturation, 75. We're going to take 10 on brightness, 75 as well. So we're just going to paint this and this one, you're probably not going to see much of a change and that's okay. Cause that is the first of the darker tonalities. Let's go and take five again. So we go to 230. Now we put five on uh, saturation. We go to 80 and we take 10 going to 65 on brightness and let's paint that right here. Let's continue. Now we go to two, two, five on hue. We add five on saturation to 85. When we take 10, we go to 55. Yes. And now let's paint that little swatch. And we just have one more to go. And here we go. We're going to take five again to 20. We're going to add five to saturation, going to 90, taking our last 10 on brightness to 45. And we're going to paint our last swatch. There you go. And there you have it. We have our first gradation color palette. Super nice. Feels, you know, like a beautiful change from this almost kind of like lilac color going into deeper blues, really beautiful gradation. But this is just the beginning. We're going to now use an eraser brush with again, a monoline brush and actually quite a bit of size, like pretty big, because I'm just going to draw a straight line. So I'm going to use 
Let me do this again. I'm going to do the quick shape tool here and bring it up so I don't take too much out. And I'm going to do that again at the bottom. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm creating a very straight uh, stripe of colors. Now that I have this, I go into my menu, in my layers menu. I'm going to slide to the left, duplicate this layer, and we're going to move this up. And now I'm going to back, go back here into the layers menu, layers panel, select the bottom layer, slide to the left, duplicate, and the bottom layer, I'm going to move it down all the way here. So now we have three rows, but they're all looking like the same color, and we're going to be tweaking that. So I'm going to first tap on the first layer, tap here again, rename it, and I'm going to call this the top uh, rename the middle layer to mid and bottom layer to, you guess it, bottom. So now I'm going to select the top layer. We're going to go into the adjustments menu and into hue and saturation. And what we're going to be doing here is making sure that this is for our brighter values. The middle is going to be the mids and then we're going to have the bottom layer for the um, for the darker tones. So here at the very top, I'm going to be adding some brightness. So let's just say about 8%. I'm going to be taking saturation because uh, let's just say like about 8 points. As colors get brighter, they also lose saturation. And then on the swing of color, I'm going a little colder. I'm going to, let's just say about 40, 47, 48 like just a touch. These are like slight touches, slight changes. Okay. So we're going to apply that back in the layers menu. I'm going to select the bottom layer and then in the adjustments back in hue, saturation and brightness. And now I am going to take down brightness. Let's take about eight points. I'm going to add a good amount of saturation. Let's say about like eight points as well, if not 10. And then for hue, I'm going to make things warmer a bit, about, about eight points. So as you can see, now we have a very nice color palette with our brighter tones, mid tones, and the darker tones. And why is that? Why did we create three rows of our sequential colors? That is because back here in the colors menu, let's go to palettes and create a new color palette. Now that we have our new color palette right here, we're going to be filling in, I'm just going to go back into value. We're going to be filling in these colors into our buckets and Procreate gives us three rows of colors to fill in. So how we're going to be doing that is with a good old eyedropper tool, select that shade, tap here and add that to our color palette. So let me quickly do that. I'm going to probably just speed up the video so I can show you guys the end result. All right, so this is our newly created color palette here in Procreate reflecting what's in here that we created ourselves. And look how beautiful, sequential, and harmonious this color palette is. Now, for many of you, you might, be, you might be thinking this is the end of the tutorial, but really, this is actually just the beginning. This is where things get really, really fun, and I'm going to show you why and how. We're going to go back here in our, in our Layers panel, and I'm just going to slide to the right. So I select all these three layers, and then I'm going with a pinch, uh, motion, I'm going to blend them all into one layer. I'm also just going to move it a little bit to the left and scale it down. So I have a little bit more real estate here on my canvas. And I'm going to make this big, uh, a little bit bigger. And I'm going to duplicate the layers, select my bottom layer and bring it down just a bit. So we have both color palettes here on screen. Now I want to show you now that we have the bottom one selected, Going back into the adjustments menu and into hue, uh, brightness and saturation already allows us, now that we have the first one done, to create 
a range of different color palettes. Look how cool this one is. Just going from almost like this lilac, really beautiful color into uh, deep, deeper greens. So I'm just going to apply that. And all of a sudden we have already a variation of our first color palette. I'm going to now slide this to the left and duplicate this new, newly created color palette here to the right. And I wanna show you what else we can do with our uh, third color palette. We can go back into the adjustments menu and now we can use color balance. And color balance is really cool because it allows us to change things into the shadows, midtones, and highlights of our color palette. And here I'm just gonna play a little bit. Look how cool, like if I bring this to the blue tones on my shadow, on my shadows, I'm bringing all of those darker colors into the blue range. And I've, I'm creating this really, really beautiful and interesting and rich uh, color palette that now goes from lilac to deeper blues. And I'm just gonna change things a little bit here. I'm really liking these results so far. So now let's go into the midtones and see what else we can do. Uh, we're losing that really beautiful green, so maybe I'll leave it a little bit like so, and maybe crush it here back into the magenta levels. And look at that, look look at this variation right here. This is, this is so nice and it's so pleasing to be playing with that. And finally here on the brighter values, if I move it to the left, I'm kind of making this more of a vintage color palette because my white levels are kind of going into the yellows. This is super, super nice. I'm gonna leave it like that. And finally for here, it's gonna bring it a touch into the reds to again, create that vintage look. So if I zoom in here, all of a sudden, in a matter of minutes or seconds really, we are able to create multiple color palettes from our ever first created color palette. And this is the power of just creating things with ratios and then being able to duplicate these layers, use the hue saturation, use color balance to create different color palettes for your next best illustration. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tutorials, tips and tricks, reviews, and that is all to make you a better digital illustrator every single day. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.